It's got the full autopilot package. Which Bruce Sharp upgraded when he bought his second electric vehicle, an expensive Tesla Model S. He never used to consider himself a car guy. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, it was weird for me to get excited about cars. And but now he's an activist, singing their praises. They're quiet, they're clean, the operational costs are very low because you're not buying gas or oil. They require very little maintenance because they're such simple cars. Sharp says he also went electric for environmental reasons. Not only is that good for uh, reasons of climate change, but it also keeps the air a lot cleaner. Less than 1% of recent vehicle purchases in Canada were for electrics. A new study says government subsidies can make a big difference. Ontario, B.C. and Quebec are offering cash incentives to make the switch. Consequently, those provinces are really the only places where we're seeing much uptake of electric vehicles. So what we need in Canada is some federal policy to, to make sure that people across the country have access to electric cars. Clean Energy Canada wants the federal government to play a much more active role. So this is a, an electric car charging station. Helping pay for more public charging stations, as well as putting in rules to ensure dealerships promote electric vehicle sales. Also important, a national subsidy for buyers. Right now, an electric car is more expensive because of its battery. So offering that rebate to people helps close the gap. Transport Canada says it's working on a plan for electrics as part of its zero emissions strategy, with details to be released in 2018.